Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. We are back here again in the third part of our simple day-night cycle and what we're going to be doing in today's part is making the night time in our level actually get darker because right now you can see um, when it when it went to night time the level itself didn't actually get that dark. Now, what if, for instance, you're trying to make a horror game, or just for the style that you're going for, you want the level to actually get dark during night? That's what we're going to be focusing on in this part. First things first, we're going to want to go back to our level blueprint editor. Now in here, we want to create three new variables. First one being night, question mark. Second one being night on previous frame. Now I have these both set up with a question mark because I'm asking them as if it is a question. We want both of these to be a Boolean. And the third one, we want to come over here to the right and set it to be a float. And we want to set this to be called night threshold. Now this number will basically be uh, a number that we will set um, basically to be where, where in the sky the sun is positioned in degrees that we want uh, to be considered like day or night. Like for instance, um, if it goes below zero degrees, that means it's gone below the horizon. We can then set it to be night. Now we want to compile and save. We now have access to editing the default values. We don't want to touch these at the moment though. We're going to want to drag off of light source and we're going to want to get actor rotation let's break rotator so we can get access to the pitch value next we want to get float in range and let's hook up our night threshold to the minimum and let's set our maximum to be 100. These numbers here are in degrees. Let's call that sun degrees. Just so we can understand this a little bit better. Next, over here in our blueprint section, we want to grab night, set, connect to our updates on direction and we'll use this return value as the boolean to set. Basically what this is going to do is in this case zero degrees. Uh, if the sun has gone below zero degrees or below the horizon line then that means we're setting night to true. Otherwise, this return value will be set as false because the value here in degrees will be something that says that the sun is up in the sky. So then we don't want that to be set uh, as true. We want to keep that as false. Uh, these nodes here will be doing that for us. Next, we want to get another branch. Now here, for our condition, we want to get a a boolean not equal okay it'll be the it'll be the exclamation point with an equal sign we want to get a night on previous frame have that on the top and our night on the bottom what this means is that when these values are not the same as each other we will then be able to pass through true. We want to use this like a gate, so we'll leave false blank. 
off of true, let's get our knight on previous frame, set, and now we can use our knight value here to set it. Using our knight value again, we'll get another branch and hook that up. Now here, what we have is a branch where we can decide that using our float in some degrees that true is night and false is day so now we can do things like change uh, certain lighting values uh, for when it is at night or at day so just for debugging purposes I'm going to drag off true and get print string and in string I'm just going to put in night I'm going to copy and paste that for false and I'm going to put in day and let's compile and save so now that we have this let's go back to our main viewport Let's go to our world outliner and find our skylight. There it is, skylight, under lighting. Now, if we go down to this setting, intensity, notice how I can directly change. Uh, basically, you see in shaded areas, in, like over here in shaded areas, it's getting very much brighter and darker. We are going to be wanting to use this variable to affect how dark it gets at night time. So now with our skylight selected, let's go back to our level blueprint, right click, have context sensitive turned on, so we can always click on this. And now we have our skylight. With our skylight here, we're going to drag off this node. And we're going to get set intensity. It will come with a target light component piece. Let's hook that up tonight. Control C and Control V hook up the targets, print string. So now we can set the skylight intensity for day and night. Uh, we know that the default for day is 1.0 and let's make the night time uh, 0.1. Let's compile, save, and let's see what this looks like in the level. Now, in that blueprint, we have just set um, at at the moment that it hits nighttime, change the skylight. Yeah, you see just then on the screen it changed, and then also to change it again when it comes back to day. The only issue that we have with this at the moment is that there is no uh, fade to it all. It's all uh, very snappy it just happens way too quickly it happens instantaneously so what we're going to do now is actually apply a fade in here by using timelines so here i'm just going to quickly tidy this up and give us some space in fact let's put these on the top here off of night I'm going to get a timeline, add timeline, uh, let's call this skylight transition. Uh, let's always have it play from the start actually, just so it always plays from where we wanted to start. Let's double click on this to open the timeline graph. And let's add a float track. 
and let's call it skylight intensity. So now when we go back to the event graph, we have a node here that we can drag out of. Back into the timeline graph, uh, let's set the length to be 25 seconds. Let's right click, add a key to curve float, make sure that the time is set to zero. And if we're creating this timeline to be um, from day to night, then let's set this value to be one. Let's right click again. Let's set this value to 25 seconds. So it's the end of our graph. And let's make it that 0 0.1. You can click on these two buttons here to fit the graph, as you can see here. And selecting both of these, we can even create a smoother gradient. Let's do auto. Now we have a smooth curved line in our graph. So now that we have this done, I can copy and paste, play from start and update, but we're going to have to flip these around. Now I could simply do a reverse from end, but instead this time I'm just going to reverse these, have the starting value be 1, sorry, point 0.1, and then the ending value be 1. So then we have our nighttime to daytime transition. Let's re rename this, call it Skylight Transition B. Oh, you know what? Let's actually be a little bit more professional about this. Let's go from day to night. Let's rename this one night to day. There we go. So now under Skylight Intensity on these nodes, we can attach them to our set intensities. So now that we have those hooked up, we're going to drag off on these finished nodes here. First, let's just copy and paste these two. So we have them again. Remember that for our nighttime, we had the intensity to 0 0.1, and for the daytime, it was 1. And let's also make sure to have the targets filled in and then drag off a finished and drag off a finished. Basically, this is just a fail safe to make sure that if if anything wrong happens with the day to night or night to day uh, timelines, that by the end of that 25 seconds, um, we are just making sure that it is where it needs to be. So we can compile and save that and let's give it a whirl. So now we should be able to see a smooth transition between those scala intensities. Now at the top left corner, we just had our printer screen uh, for night appear. So now we are slowly transitioning to a darker scene. And yes, this is much darker than it was before. Uh, I put on screen right now a before and after of the brightness and now as it is morning on the top left we should see day so our timeline should now be starting again and it is now bright again so that's pretty much the day night cycle stuff uh, complete for now um, if you want me to work uh, on on more videos like this to create an even more in-depth day-night cycle, you can just leave it down in the comments below and um, I'll see to it that I make some more videos on this. Um, other than that, 
Uh, for now, this is done. Uh, I hope that this tutorial uh, helped you in creating a day-night cycle for your game. If you have any further questions, just leave them in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to Aurora Gameworks, where I will be posting more tutorials like this. And you can also check out some uh, updates and video releases on some games that we are making. So stay tuned. <laughs> uh, I've been Andrew for Aurora Gameworks. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.